Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Obviously, the majority of the time we play Preva on this channel. Today I'm going to be trying out a brand new FIFA 23 Ultra Realism mod. This has got the latest kits, transfers. Basically, it means we can start the 23-24 season now in a career mode. We're going to have all the up-to-date transfers, the new boots, the new balls. We're also going to be playing on modified gameplay, so I'm going to be using Matt 10's sliders. These are the Ultra Realism sliders. Played a few friendly matches with them. It actually does make the game feel a lot more realistic. So I just want to see what you guys think. And if, if this career mode actually takes off, then we will turn it into a little bit of a series. But guys, the team we are going to use to play through this season mode, it's going to be Arsenal. I just feel like on FIFA, might as well make use of all the licenses in the Premier League. Obviously being fully licensed with all the stadiums. I have got a modified squad file. And we're also going to be playing on full manual setting. I just feel like if we do it as Arsenal, it gives us a realistic challenge as well. Obviously, Arsenal spent a lot of last season at the top of the Premier League and unfortunately eventually lost out to Man City. We are going to try and win the title. We'll pick Mikel Arteta. We've obviously got the new kits. Yeah, so obviously, we've got the Premier League with the, the clubs that came up. So the promotion and relegation has been adjusted. We've got new badges for Aston Villa. Burnley, Luton Town in the Premier League, that should be an interesting one. You know, enable the transfer window, because obviously the transfer window is still open in real life. Play on legendary, half length, eight minutes. We are obviously playing with custom sliders as well, just to make the game more realistic. Um, we are actually going to play through the pre-season tournament as well. You get to see a couple of those games in this episode. And if we enjoy it, then we'll we'll keep it going. Pre-season tournament, let's enter the Audi Cup. Domestic success, finishing a Champions League place. Okay, so pretty low expectations. We're obviously going to go and try and win the title. Yeah, so we're going to just have a quick look at the squad. We do have some of the transfers already done. So I'm just going to move move Declan Rice into that position. Uh, this is going to be back up for Odegaard. We definitely need to sign a striker. Trossard ain't going to do it for me. It's like Rob Holden. We could probably afford to sell. Get all these young lads out on loan. There goes Fabio Vieira. Is he even called Fabio? Whatever he's called, Vieira is going out on loan. It's a real saucy dad. He's actually got his football boots on in the training ground. Interesting. See you soon, pal. 12 month loan deal. Fabio Vieira is getting some first team football. So we are going to play this first game just so we can get used to the, the passing and things like that. It's going to be difficult playing full manuals, so we get used to the get used to the passing and the gameplay. So we're going to start Trossard, so let's see how we get on with that team. Let's give him a pre-season then, here we go. It's not a packed stadium for the pre-season, that is one of the mods that we've added. Um, it gives you like realistic attendances. Trossard's got away, he's found Jesus immediately. Oh, just wide, Gabriel Jesus. Almost a perfect start. Leverkusen just didn't even get near us. So close by Jesus. Gameplay does feel a lot better um, than default with these sliders on and with the mods obviously added as well. Slow pace. It's not a good ball though. It's not a good ball by Havertz. Oh, they've moved that one well there, Leverkusen. It's a great save by Ramsdale at the near post. Jesus might have a run at them. For Saka, good defending. And Jorginho. Trossard, Saka! Oh, just wide, great effort. Kaya Saka. Gameplay feels pretty good so far, to be honest. Very different to Pariva, but enjoyable so far. <laughs> Pitched over for Saka. It's an opening goal of the pre-season. Bakayo Saka gets it. Really tidy finish. A great start, it's great football. Saka finished that one really, really well. Chance now for a equaliser. Oh, he's put it wide. 
Frimpong. Let's put it well wide. Good ball to Jesus. Nice footwork. Oh, he got the shot all wrong. Nicely worked there. I just felt looking good so far. This cross side. Oh, Jesus has got away. And Leverkusen defending terribly again. Have I got the pace? I might square for Havertz. The goalkeeper does really well. Good football by Leverkusen into the box. It's a great save. I think the referee's going to give a penalty there. Did go in late with Gabriel as the shot. It's a chance for him to get an equaliser now. Yes. Schick scores. That's not a good ball. Gabriel's had a calamitous couple of minutes there. And Schick has made it 2 1 now to Leverkusen. We're now trailer game where we've been pretty comfortable in. Oh, now we're come by Leverkusen with a pace on the counter attack. Gabriel's going to have a job here against Diaby. Oh, he's, Diaby's beating him easily. Chance there. That should be the third, and it is. Gabriel again. Certainly looks like the weak link at the back. He got skinned down the line there. And it was an easy goal for Leverkusen in the end. And after a really positive first half. Been a calamitous second half. What? Finally now. Could put Odegaard away. Hearts. And Odegaard's really finish from Odegaard. That is a great goal. Because we're opened up there. The finish was lovely by Odegaard. That's going to be full time now. And it is. Defeat in our first pre-season game definitely was not easy. We looked a lot worse in the second half and we made the substitutions. Fair play to Leverkusen, they were good in the second half, but it all went wrong when Gabriel gave the penalty away and then catastrophically gave a goal away immediately after. The one thing I did uh, pick up from that opening game is we definitely need to sign some defenders. Was not confident with Gabriel and... Gabriel after that shocking game against Leverkusen. I'll keep him in the squad, but we definitely need another centre-back. It might sound a bit obvious, but if you can't beat him, then let's try and buy him. So there's a, I'm going to try and take a couple of defenders off Manchester City. Let's test our luck. The right-back I'm thinking of is Kyle Walker. Obviously proven winner. Would slot straight into the team. Start in at right-back. 18 million. Centre-half, obviously they're not going to sell me John Stearns. There we go, guys. He's turned up in his boots. He's ready for action. Proven Premier League winner. And I think we've just sorted out the right-back spot. Obviously, Man City are probably going to be the team that we're going to be competing with for this title. So, to take arguably the best right-back in the Premier League off him. I'm happy with that. Okay guys, so with it being pre-season, we are just going to do highlights of these games. Um, obviously when the actual season starts and the important games, the games that actually matter for points, then we will start showing the full games in this series. Game number two of the Audi Cup. Against Real Madrid, definitely won't be an easy game. Oh, that's an opening goal for Real Madrid. Hossel who's fired at home on the edge of the penalty area it's a great strike Turner and goal have no chance 
the Real Madrid, when they lose the ball, will press. As the show for that goal there, we lost the ball into the box. They pressed onto us. Oh, Vinicius Junior's in behind now. What a serve by Turner. Again. That's an easy goal for Modric. Cannot get near Real Madrid in this game. This is starting to concern me a little bit. That is a terrible ball. No one there, Vinicius Junior, it's 3 0. Taking us apart in this first half. Cannot get near them. Well, it's been a nightmare debut for Kyle Walker. It's been a nightmare performance for Arsenal. We've been absolutely taken apart by Remwood in that first half. Gonna have to look at some changes now. Wholesale changes at the half then. Second half certainly needs to be better than that. Gabriel's won it. It's a great header. It's a great header from Gabriel. Get the ball. Doesn't seem to want to pick the ball up. But we've got one goal back anyway. Who's tried it? Say what the early shot there, so close. Tying with us again, and that is the ball. Could not get the ball back. There is Eddie and Ketia. That's full time. A disappointing second game here against Real Madrid. It was really tough. Um, yeah. Real Madrid were excellent. Obviously, it's only pre season. I'm not going to get carried away. Not been great, but. Right then, guys, following that difficult game against Real Madrid, I've realised the, the defence just needed sorting out. So we've actually gone out and signed Laporte to come in at centre back. So centre back. Pairing of Laporte and Saliba will be the fair choice for the upcoming game against Celta Vigo. Obviously, it's the final game of pre-season, so it's a chance to see how these guys settle in. So we've got Kyle Walker in there as well, who didn't really have the best game against Real Madrid, but obviously it should be a lot easier against Celta Vigo. So Laporte comes in. We're going to change the tactics of the team, so we're going to look at changing the defensive style. We're going to play balanced, and we're also going to put fast build-up play on, so we actually throw men forward and counter-attack a bit more. Hopefully, we'll play a little bit better than we did against Real Madrid. This is our final chance now in pre-season to get the team settled, ready for the Premier League campaign. Okay then, guys. Back for pre-season. The final fixture of pre-season. Pre-season game number three against Celta Vigo. Obviously, it's been a tough, tough start to pre-season so far. Obviously, another guy doing well there. Oh, into Saka. And that's 1-0 straight away. Four minutes on the clock. Saka scores at the same end he did against Bayer Leverkusen. And we've had the perfect start. Hint, play through the Salta Vigo press. I failed there, though. Saliba. Oh, good save, Ramsdale. That's it, that's full time in the final pre-season pre fixture. Much better performance. And we head into the Premier League campaign off the back of a win. That was much better than the Real Madrid or Bayer Leverkusen game. It definitely wasn't easy, but at least we're heading to the Premier League campaign with a bit of confidence. The team that we played was much more like what we're going to be starting with as well. I think, guys, obviously, change of tactics and 
personnel at the back. Right, our first clean sheet. Obviously, it is against a weaker team. You guys, I am quite happy with this squad now to start the season. We've added Laporte and Walker at the back. That should shore us up. I do still think we need a striker. If you guys can think of anyone that I should be trying to sign as a backup for Jesus, please let me know in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe. We'll be back for episode two where we'll be starting the Premier League campaign at home against Fulham. As always, we'll see you in the next one, guys.